Kaya naman Adam oh. Try mo dyan. Dali lang. Uh, I'm Jason Cappuccino from Sashes and Scripts and I just talked with Kathleen earlier yeah. and we were talking about um, the year prior you were you the both of you were supposed to uh, compete and join uh, Superbad so how does it feel now that after the setback last year you both emerged as winners I only have love for this moment because a lot of people they were when, when word came out and they said oh revenge time oh revenge time no love I have truly only love for this competition because the moment I put or associate negative emotions as oh it's now revenge time now it's my big time to shine I lose focus so do you um, do you uh, believe that um, if God open, uh, closes the door somewhere he opens a window you don't realize but I made true friends here in this competition and I always say to myself whatever happens it happens for a reason maybe you don't know it in the moment but something in the future will appear and then it makes click and you notice, okay, this had to happen. So this two years ago, being disqualified to be here right now, making all the connections, the friends, having truly, truly up the, one of the best days in my life. Yeah. How can I be not grateful? And um, earlier this year, Kathleen won uh, Miss Echo International. So pageant fans and pageant media are kind of hoping that maybe this year you would also win the Mr. World <laughs> competition. <laughs> you are not the only one who is hoping. Um, here's my memo. I will my, do my absolute best. Everything that is my ability to present the Philippines in the best performance to make all of us proud. And of course, of course, aim for the crowd. But of course, no expectations. Um, of course, <laughs> you have that you know, humble mindset. And uh, just love. Okay. Thank you, Kirk, and congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations for winning uh, the Super Bud. So, how does it feel that after, you know, uh, uh, after quite a while, there will kanang masasabi na, this is mine, this yeah. is something that I won for myself? Yes, I mean, I think it was very obvious from my reaction. Napaiyak nga ako when I, when I heard that my name was called, only because nga I'm so happy na finally nagkaroon na ako ng something that is mine and I can claim na, na ako na yung nanalo. So I'm very, very happy, very grateful, and I'm excited for what's to come with Century And um, one more question. Um, how do you feel that yung, ano, yung mga nanalo this year, there is a connection with the pageant industry? I think that's great. I mean, since naman we are almost like a pageant, this competition is similar naman, and I think we cross paths naman because I had some girls na kapatch ko in, in other places. So I feel like they intertwine naman, and I think uh, at the end of the day, pageant slash competitions will always empower us. So I think it's a great way for us to really, to really let it shine and be empowered. Congratulations thank and you, thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you po. Maraming maraming salamat. Okay. Hi Michelle, this is Jason Cappuccino of Sashes and Scripts. Um, I just want to ask uh, you about the experience here in uh, Century Tuna. Oh my gosh, it was such a wonderful experience. I've never been in a competition where the camaraderie was just so close and so tight-knit as a family. And even after everything, there's no malice. Like Everyone is still so friendly with each other. We're all excited to even hang out after this. And that's what's so much enjoyable is making the connections with people and the memories. And how does it feel to win, actually? Oh my gosh, it feels so good. I can eat a cheeseburger now. <laughs> but I'm so incredibly grateful. Like, I worked so hard for this, and the efforts paid off. And I'm grateful to my Pro Media family. Thank you for helping me on this journey. I couldn't have done it with you, you guys. And last question. Um, is, th is this the last time that we will see you on stage in a competition? I don't know. Maybe next year, Araneta. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. Still amazing, honestly. I think I'm at tomorrow. I'll I'll have my voice lost completely because of the screaming. Um, Michelle, Christelle, and Kirk are my friends. Kirk's my boyfriend. But I was supporting them all tonight, and I'm so glad all of them has an award, special awards, and of course the placement. So I'm really, really happy. How do you feel, Kathleen? That. Um all of the winners are 
coming from the pageant industry? I think that, well, technically Superbots is before uh, pageant for sure, but I think it, it, they had an advantage in knowing how to do a Q&A, yeah. knowing how to tackle the stage, where to look, and how to project. So production had an advantage, and it, it, it played really well tonight. So I'm really happy for them. Kirk's a model, so he obviously knows how to himself on stage. So. And how, how does it feel that after a, like, you were supposed to, uh, you and Kirk were supposed to compete the year before, yeah. and now natuloy si Kirk. So how does that feel? I'm definitely really happy because during my time when I was disqualified because of COVID, unfortunately, um, he was also disqualified with me because of the fact that we went to the gym together. And uh, last question, I know, um, because uh, there are there is a setback last year, and this year you've won Miss Echo, and Kirk's now uh, the the winner for Super Bot, and also Mr. World Philippines. Do you feel that it was like um, a redemption year for the both of you? I think so, because during the pandemic, being disqualified, it definitely gave us a lot of like motivation to do even greater and better within ourselves. We learn a lot of lessons being um, being far away from the stage and everything. So definitely a redemption year. I just know that Kirk and I do everything that we do, not because of, you know, the revenge, but it, it's honestly for ourselves. And Kirk and I are very disciplined in the fact in what we want to do um, together because, you know, we would hope to be together forever. <laughs> Thank you, Kathleen. Thank you, I mean, what was your diet during the during the end? I think for, I think it was pretty strict. Uh, I really just tried to stay away from sweets, uh, and I also minimized some carbs and build up my protein. But at the end of the day, I've always believed in balance, and so I like to indulge myself every once in a while because I don't like to deprive myself. I mean, for my journey, it started actually the hard dieting two weeks ago because I was also studying for my bachelor. So in that sense, I had to, you know, still have my brain foods intact, and I was doing all the exams and my papers. So I finished early, so I can completely focus on this competition. Very balanced, sustainable over everything because in the end, like my mental health was also my priority.
but um, we're just looking forward to any other projects and um, just, we're just happy at the moment. Uh, okay. so Yes, but uh, we'll, see. we'll see what my actions will do. Okay, and she was an audience. I uh, right cannot wait to have her finally in my arms and embrace and cuddle her because she was very supportive and uh, truly blessed. Bye-bye. Oh, Love strong. Love strong. <laughs>